Well, I guess you could say we're over the hump in April now. It's the 18th of April, and we on chick. These females got to pull up at some point with these males. There's males everywhere right now, so I found a lot of males on bed yesterday. I'm going to go run them, see if these females have pulled up on them, and we're going to try to find some new ones in the meantime, so that's what we're doing right now. Hopefully, we're going to find some. I mean, yesterday, it was unbelievable how many males I saw. I probably saw 30 males, you know, like in the pound and a half to two and a half pound range, so... All we need is just two or three of those to have big females on it and we'll be sitting right where I want to be sitting. So I want one big fish today. Okay, so I don't know how well y'all are going to be able to see because we are a little bit far away. But there's a female over there that's like a four pounder. I think she's a four pounder anyways. And there's a male right here. That looks like about a three sun's out now i'm trying to get just a tad closer just because y'all are here but with me and we're gonna try to get a good view of this so i didn't shook the male off twice because first cast i got the female to come in the bed and bite but i'm gonna go ahead and catch the male now and then come back in about just a few minutes and try to catch the female got you on point the semi the right direction female over there see her swimming and the males in this bed right here he is right there and he's hot well first cast since I rigged y'all up don't even know how all that's possible hope y'all can see that y'all probably can't because there's too much glare on the water but he is right there. My crawl is right in front of him. He just nailed it. No, he just had it and I didn't set the hook. He's easing towards it. I hope y'all can see that. He's right there. The bed is right there. We need to get him in there. And he bites. Headed towards the bed now. A little bit further. A little bit further. He's in there. Just daring him to come get it. Now that one was actually in his freaking mouth. Got him now for real. That's a good one. Man, you was tough to get. Look at this tail, worn slap off. Hope y'all can see that. Hope I got y'all pointing the right direction. Worn slap off. We're gonna keep him for a minute, circle his pocket, and then come back and catch her. There's that three pounder I caught. When I pulled up, she wasn't even in the bed or anything, so I'm gonna put him back and let them do their thing. So a light spot pitched to it and had a little male on it. Didn't see the fish first. Look how pretty that sucker is. That's another one. I was just pitched to a light spot. Didn't know there was a fish there. I did see a fish here a second ago, but it wasn't this one. It was bigger than this. Look how pretty that coloration is on that thing. And how fat. It's a perfect little specimen. Just needing to be about that long. I can't tell how big 
big that one is, but I just lost her. There's a male, it's like a two pounder, and the female might be a three, might be a three and a half, might be a four, I can't really tell because the wind's blowing so hard. That ain't no three pounder. Lost her twice. Golly, that ain't no three pounder either. When I pulled her up to the surface, that's a goodie. I knew whenever I hooked her the second time, that was not a three pounder. That's a good one though. I love that. She has nose up on it. I'm gonna let her go. I guarantee you, I guarantee you I could come back and catch that fish again later. There's a male on the bed the whole time. He'd never bit, not a single time. Well, the females definitely pulled up today. I just never found one of those real, real big ones. Um, found a lot of two pound females. You know, that'd be like a two and a half pound female with a one and a half pound male. Seen a lot of that today, which I didn't expect. I would assume one of them was a female anyway. There are two of them on a the bed rolling on each other. That's almost always a male and a female. Um, saw some really big males today though. I saw just right over there there's a four and a probably three and a half pound male they just ain't locked on yet so can't do anything with them about to head back to the truck now we're done for the day did catch that one nice one looking at her but still haven't found the one i was looking for i would have been better off just staying in the stained water and flit and just fishing but i like being down here in the clear water i like sight fishing it's fun to me so that's what we've been doing this is the last time i'm gonna be on chickamauga for probably until the very last few days of April. Um, we're headed to Santee Cooper now. Let's go catch some giants there. Oh, they'll be on bed big time over there, so that's gonna be fun. But see y'all at Santee.